my house every day. And I look forward to that moment where I'm going to watch you. You're going to make me laugh, and I'm going to feel real great about it. When I come into your home, I know that you invite me like a relative of yours. I got to give you a little bit more invite you back tomorrow. The planters is for the cravers. The crunchy, savory cravers. And the cream went with dessert, something special. Planters and Lux makes nuts. Stay satisfied. So many blessings tonight. Shout out to Amanda. Dope eyes, divine peace. Shout out to me. And I'm going for my legacy, David Chandler. Divine energy. Steve, I'm going to say the government, the IRS. Watching, listening to <laughs> Family Feud with my grandma. New decks. Two new decks.
new decks. These new decks are Sacred Rebel Ancestral deck, the Viking Oceans and Toro deck, Healing Balance and Rebel Angels. First one is the here and now, the lift off card. Three of rainbow, the rainbow represents the Angelic figure with rainbow colored wings. On this card represents the guide that each of us carries within. Like the second figure in the background, we may sometimes be a little reluctant to trust this guy when it comes to us because we are so accustomed to taking our cues from the outside rather than the inside. The truth of our own deepest being is trying to show us where to go right now. And when this card appears, it means you can trust the inner guidance that we are being given. It speaks in whispers. And sometimes we can hesitate, not knowing if we have understood rightly. But the indications are clear. And following the inner guide, we will feel more whole more integrated as if we are moving outwards from the very center of our being. If we go with it, this beam of light will carry us exactly where we need to go. Would you like to see this card, Grandma? Hmm. Grandma. This one's dope. <clears throat> yeah. You'd like to see it? All right. The reading that I'm doing. So I'm listening to the yeah, Steve Harvey on the Family Feud and doing a balancing reading. You know what's up? We have looked for guidance because we do not know the inner guide is hidden inside of us. We have to find the inner guide, and that's what we call our witness. That's what that we call, that's what I call your dharma. That's what I call your intrinsic Buddha. You have to awaken that Buddha, and your life will shower blessings and benediction. Your life will become so radiant with good, with godliness more than we can possibly conceive. <clears throat> it is almost like light. Our room is dark. Just bring in light. Even a small candle will do. 
and the whole darkness disappears. And once you have a candle, you know where the door is. You don't have to think about it. Where is the door? Only blind people think about where is the door. People who have eyes and the light is there. They, they don't think. Have you ever thought, where is the door? You simply get up and go out. You never give a single thought to where the door is. You don't start groping for the door or hitting your head against the wall. You simply see, and there is not even a flicker of thought. You simply go out. Hmm. First I was dark, I couldn't see, but the door is right in front of me, so I just get to go with the fine light, spirals of the manifestation, get on the site, I'm just here to chill, giving you my energy pill, take a breath, stop and breathe. We appreciate you, ancestors. We're grateful. It's number two. The resistance card. The fear of flying. <laughs> Celebration? Is what up? Wins the game. Not there. Divine feminine trinity energy? This is my fear? <sighs> Not anymore. <laughs> no, my. No, no, no. Pimps the Prophet coming out. You haven't gotten your Pimps the Prophet, the digital audio book coming out. You tripping. You haven't gotten your taste of Pimps the Prophet. <clears throat> this is a dissertation. Understand the elevation of mindset movement. Mm. So celebration, this is the three of water. Hi, Terry. Okay, Terry. <laughs> My child's mom. <laughs> in the heavens and in everywhere we go. And she's on the show right now. And this guy, the white guy named Terry. What up, Terry? There's only much love and light to you, man. Look, I know um, if y'all getting, you're gonna get reading, readings, energy readings. Oh my God. These cards right here. Osho, Zen, Torah, lit. You see those colors and those lights? Mm -hmm. We got two threes, three, three. Oh yeah, divine trinity energy. Three of earth, three of water. I'm so grateful, grateful, grateful. Celebration, one or two. It's a celebration. This is what we do to unite the nation. Oh my God, no more hesitation. You're most welcome. <laughs> yes, yes. So these three women dancing in the wind and the rain remind us that celebration never need depend on outside circumstances. We need not wait for a special holiday or a formal occasion, nor a sunny or cloudless day. True celebration arises from a joy that is first experienced deep within. Can you share this to some groups, please? Thank you. All those that are watching this, you got to celebrate us by just at least sharing this to some groups. Make sure people are getting this. Raise the vibe. Elevate the eyes. Push through the resistance. We're grateful for that. True celebration arises from a joy that is first experienced deep within and spills over into an overflow of song and dance and laughter. And yes, even tears of gratitude. I said to Allah, uh uh, my son, feeling no, my son, 
Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ramna 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 Hare Hare When you choose the cards, it indicates that we're becoming more and more available and open to many opportunities that are to celebrate in life. Yes, this is my fear, by the way. This is the fear that I got to get out. I got to celebrate. Like, I've done some dope shit. Our family's done some dope shit. Um, and fearing celebrating what I've done and, and is not the, the goal to operate in my dopest, divinest truth and, and keeping it flowing in our dopest, divinest flow. Real life, much love to you, bro. So it's definitely time to celebrate and put in the work. And now that this work is here, you see all that divine feminine energy, all that water shit flow coming out of the Pisces season. We understand it. <clears throat> Don't bother about scheduling a party on our calendar. Let our hair down, take our shoes off, and start splashing in the puddles right now. The party is happening all around us every moment. Absolutely. Celebration. Life is a moment to celebrate, to enjoy, make it fun, a celebration, and then we will enter the temple. The temple is not for the long face. It has never been for them. Hmm. Look at life. Do you see sadness anywhere? Have you ever seen a tree depressed? Have you seen a bird anxiety ridden? Have you seen an animal neurotic? No, life is not like that. Not at all. Only man has grown wrong in some way. Only man has gone wrong somewhere. And he has gone wrong somewhere because he thinks himself to be very wise, very clever. Your cleverness is your disease. Don't be too wise. Always remember to stop. Don't go to the extreme. A little foolishness and a little wisdom is good. And the right combination makes you a Buddha. A little foolishness and a little wisdom is good. Makes you a Buddha. You get that? Foolishness and wisdom. Do what I want to do. <clears throat> My grandma's a Buddha. She's a happy Buddha. She had a black Buddha. I'm going to go get her Buddha. I'm going to show that. That's a dope card, by the way. Who I so It's another three, though. <laughs> Yo, do y'all see this? Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Oh, my God. We're grateful for these readings. This card reading is amazing. Yeah. 
Yo, I wish somebody take a screenshot of this. This right here. Super lit. So I think that's the three of clouds. So I got the three of rainbows, the three of clouds, and the three of water. Three of clouds, isolation is 122. But this is responsibility to the fear. Thank you, Zumi. Appreciate it. Responsibility to the fear. In our society, men in particular have been taught not to cry, to put a brave face on things when they get hurt and not show that they are in pain. But women can fall into this trap too. And all of us at one time or another might feel that the only way to survive is to close off our feelings and emotions so we can't be hurt again. <laughs> Dumb. Not good. False evidence of being real. If our pain is particularly deep, we might even try to hide it from ourselves. This can make us frozen, rigid, because deep down we know that one small break in the ice will free the hurt to start circulating through us again. The rainbow colored tear, tears on this person's face holds the key to breaking out of the isolation. The tears and only the tears have the power to melt the ice. The tears and only the tears. Crying helps us let go, helps us to let go of the pain allows us to be gentle with ourselves and finally helps us heal, helps us to heal. My grandma says that crying washes the brain. So for them to talk about that is healing, crying matters. I call them crygasms. I be making people cry when they stand in my eyes. They're like, why am I tearing up? I'm like, cause you're in the presence of a happy Buddha and you need to cry to melt that shell. <laughs> oh, I don't want to melt my shell. No, but you got to melt it though. Ice Olation. I like how he, he broke it down. He said, Osho, you are so dope. You know that, bro? Like, you're dope. I'm grateful. We're going to be doing some dope, great things today. So, for those that don't know, Osho Zobra the Buddha is my Buddha, my Zen teacher that's been teaching me um, the, to help unfold our level of teaching, of mastering our mind and our heart and our spirit through our tantric principles. So, our tantric teachings, balancing the yin and the yang. So Osho, shout out to Osho, um, Wild Wild Country on Netflix, if you need to check that out, then you get to see my teacher and have somewhat of an understanding while we're out here doing and collecting land and taking rightful ownership back to what's ours. This is our land. Thank you. Give me back. <laughs> we, we appreciate it. Ashe, there's leaders here now. Uh-huh. We appreciate We take it though. So, shout out to Osho and Wild Wild Country. They put us on it. <clears throat> it says, we are miserable because we are too much in the self. What does it mean when I say we are too much in the self? <clears throat> and what exactly happens when we are too much in the self? Either you can be in existence or you can be in the self. Both are not possible together. To be in the self means to be apart, to be separate. To be in the self means to become an island. To be in the self means to draw a boundary around you. To be in the self means to make a distinction between this I am and that I am not. The definition, the boundary between I and the not I <coughs> is what the self is. The self isolates and it makes you us frozen. We are no longer flowing. If you are, are flowing, the self cannot exist. Hence, people have become almost like ice cubes. What an ice cube. They don't have any warmth. They don't have any love, life, 
love is war. Life is war. So they're afraid of life. If warmth comes to them, they will start melting and the boundaries will disappear. In love of life, in life, the boundaries disappear. In joy, also the boundaries disappear because joy is not cold. Come into my energy and get flamed on. <laughs> See those rainbow tears? These are so dope. Listen, if you need a reading, you definitely want a reading from these tarots because these are lit. These are my bird reading, right? And this bird reading is happening, the flying bird. This layout is designed in the shape of a bird taking flight. These cards chosen and placed in the left wing symbolize, symbolizes the indicates to us about our feminine. I love my feminine energy, so left. <clears throat> so... To the right is the masculine energy. Receptive energies in the moment while the right wing symbolizes our male active energies. So it's um, coming into my flame with some joy and some love. And that shit is awesome. Three, 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 three. This next one that we're going to do is uh, for the inner support, intuition of responsibility. Three. This is for consciousness. Wow. Oh, This is a gray box. Consciousness. Mm. Where are you, consciousness? This car right here is lit. my intuition card my intuition card consciousness I get to see me learn this deck I wanted to bring y'all this is my first reading with it I just got these delivered shout out to Elite Motivation for sowing the seed into investing into our mission uh, birthday gift super lit uh, Osho is definitely one of my teachers Clouds represents air. Ancestors is heaven and we over this mission. They tapped in. <clears throat> Most of the cars in this suit of the mind are either cartoon like or troubled. Because the influence of the mind in our lives is generally either ridiculous or oppressive. But this card of consciousness shows a vast Buddha figure. He is so expressive, he has gone even beyond the stars, and above his head is pure emptiness. 
He represents the consciousness that is available to all who become a master of mind and can use it as a servant. It is meant to be. When we choose this card, it means that there is a crystal clarity available right now. Crystal clarity. I love my intuition. I, that's how I navigate. I'm good. I'm good. I'm trying to worry about shit that's way down there. I'm just right here, right now. Let's go. Pew. <laughs> Divine mission. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. Up intention. Just be intentional. So, when you choose this card, it means there's a crystal clarity available right now. Detached, rooted in a deep stillness that lies at the core of our being. There is no desire to understand. <coughs> no desire to understand from the perspective of the mind. The understanding we have now is ex ex existential, whole, in harmony with the pulse of life itself. As we accept this great gift and share it, with the world as of that right now share this to a couple groups share this to my group share it to your page much love send this to a couple friends ace of clouds represents the mind we come from the unknown and we go on moving into the unknown we will come again we will have been thousands of times and we will be here thousands of times our essential being is immortal, but our body, our embodiment is mortal. Our frame in which we are, our houses, the body, the mind, they are made of material things. They will get tired. They will get old. They will die. But our consciousness, for which Bodhi He Dharma uses the word no mind, Gautama, Gautama Buddha, who has also used the word no mind and something beyond the body and the mind, something beyond everything. That no mind is eternal. It comes into expression and goes again into the unknown. This movement from the unknown to the known and from the known to the unknown continues for eternity. Unless somebody becomes enlightened, then that is his last life. Then this flower will not come back again. This flower that has become aware of itself will not need come back to life because life is nothing but a school in which to learn. He has learned the lesson. He is now beyond delusion. He will move from the known for the first time not into the unknown, but into the unknowable. Part, yeah. Like, that's, that's divine obedience, right? So I'm going to end this on that, right? I'm going to end this because I'm going to make this into some content. But y'all can catch me on IG Live. Also, those that are watching right now, this is 34 minutes. This is a good time. Um, listen, catch me on IG Live. That's... Um, 369 underscore mindset. Somebody can type that in there. 369 underscore mindset. M I N D S E T. Um, definitely check me out over there. Um, we're going to finish this reading over, over there. But just to quickly recap I'm a modern day man on a mission. We love cards. Cards are awesome. We, uh, we have the divine guidance for the earth rainbow with our ancestors all around us and the spirits and angels um, it's time to celebrate no more fear of celebration it's truly truly time to celebrate uh, divine feminine energies all around the water to flow have fun be yourself let's heal and power let's let go to bullshit um, the isolation is time to melt those tears away tears of joy tears of laughter uh, and time to utilize uh, your divine intuition consciousness because uh, consciousness is everything throughout in and throughout everything so this reading has started off great if you want to finish this reading hop with me over to the ig um i need more devices so 
definitely uh, if you're interested in getting access to our $33 package, $66 package, a $99 divine knowledge uh, post-pandemic packages that comes with books, audios, physicals. Um, yo, it's lit. So we've been selling these things for the past two weeks. We're looking forward to um, to reaching a goal of uh, establishing at least um, $300,000 in sales. Why $300,000? That allow me to navigate and engage with my family, my friends, my children, and the partnerships and partnerships that I have established and allow me to invest and so into those business. Um, when you become aware, like that's the thing, you're, I'm no mind. I'm, I'm out here just being a vibration. Um, that's why I can read these cards. That's why I got this Buddha. <laughs> it's super lit. Um, it says sacred rebel right here. Uh, this is like a little setup. You got the faith up there in the corner. But this is um, this is my first video back here at my grandma's for at the spot uh, since of the year. This is definitely my first video of the year. Uh, we haven't been here since the, the end of last year. And I really want y'all to know this mission is lit. We're opening identity to your higher spiritual self. So like I said, catch us on Instagram live. That's that's three six nine underscore mindset on Instagram live. See you over there. Much love, much light. Send me a DM if you want want a reading too. We definitely will dive deep.